Yo, what's up, guys? It's me again today. Uh, we're gonna be back, and we're gonna. I'm gonna be showing you guys some like some some things in Rocket League that all uh, beginner players should know. I know I'm not the the highest ranked player. I'm about silver three to gold. You know, it's not that high rank, but you know. I'm, I'm still pretty decent at the game, man. I know a couple of things will uh, help you guys a lot. And the first thing I'm going to show you is um, that will give you a really good advantage is your kickoff. So uh, <clears throat> there's many types of kickoffs. Uh, the most, the best one in my opinion to use is the mo is the fast kickoff where you go like this and uh, incorrectly like this. Then you boost, you have to like drift into the. It's really hard, but it's something like yeah, it's like that. Yeah, have to. I have to um, drift into the into the uh, get to like so I'll give you a, a quick story on how to do it. You might might you might you might not be able to do it first time, but like <clears throat> so you have to do a regular uh, uh, like uh, diagonal flip. So no, not like that, not like that, not like that, like this. Yeah, easy. You have to also be making your car face a little bit down so you can go a little bit faster to the ground. So kind of like when you go from, so kind of like, yeah, kind of like that. So you go kind of, kind of like this motion, when or like this, kind of like that. You saw, and then once, so and once you do that position like that, you, if you're you're gonna have to drift into it you're gonna have to hit it um preferably to the to the side to get uh, to get to it faster but um it also works in the center and then and then you can if you want you can just like if you have you can also speed flip into it again or front flip into it it'll be really fast as well all right that's if you can't do the correct motion just like that Something like that. I can only do that one, but you know, I'll get better at it. But if you can, if you're not that skilled at Rocket League, another better alternative is to boost. Then when you run out of boost, when you're about to hit the ball, just like that. Or you can also do like front flips and then two front flips, like that, like that. Uh, this one, if you're in the far ones, you can go and you can front flip and then you front flip again, like this one. But when you're in the side ones, I'll just use all my boosts I have and then front flip or or just diagonal flip like that. Which is, in my opinion, is really reliable for 50-50 plays. And make sure to hit it to the center of the ball to get the most advantage in a 50-50 play. So yeah. Um, another really good one is the wave dash kick off, which is like that. Wait, like this. I'm not really reliable. I'm not really consistent with it, but yeah, it's like that. So that's why I didn't. I'm not, I stopped doing it. I lost a lot of games doing it because I wasn't consistent at it. But maybe you guys might might be better than me. You know? I don't know. I might be watching. It. So next thing is getting speed. So some people think uh, just using as much boost as you can is the best way to get s speed but that's not the case that's actually not true uh, uh if i take away unlimited boost and free play you'll see you don't have that much time um before you run out of boost right and then you just waste all of your boost like that it's kind of useless when you don't have any boost and a lot i know a lot of people like they love you just wasting boost and it's not really good so what preferably I want to do is speed flip. Like, if you want to get to supersonic really fast, like doing some some front flips or like or speed flip will get you much faster than there. So if you stop, like just stop from flipping. Takes you three. Speed flip takes you one. So. So yeah. Uh, also, wave dashing are good, um, which I'm about to talk about right now. It's really simple to do. Well, not that. It's kind of hard, actually. 
Well, I'll say it's medium, yeah. So you have to jump and you have to get your, your car into a diagonal like this. Yeah. And then when you're about to, when your bottom wheels are about to hit the ground, you're gonna jump again. And you're gonna put your stick forward. Because doing this is not gonna help too much. How you like this? And you have to put it forward. You do get some speed. But if, the quicker you do it, like with, with boost, it's your supersonic first time if you do it. If you do it really good, like, like this. Um, not like that. Hold up. So if I get a limited boost and I get it like that. See? One, uh, like that. But they're really hard to do. To boost to the ground. I haven't teach you, well, you have to like, face your car downwards, boost to the ground. And then when you're about to hit the ground, move your car upwards and then do the half, do the half flip. I mean, uh, wave dash. And <clears throat> yeah, it's just, it's just, and also there's, there's one like this that some people do and they like this side. Yeah, but, and two up really good. Like you have to angle your car like up and to the side and then you actually get some pretty good speed. So, yeah, but it's really difficult to get that motion consistently. As you can see, I'm not really good at doing it. I'm just going to do this, this one until you learn how to do that one. Recoveries, um, I'm doing a really good one right here. Alright, okay, guys. I, I will do off the wall like that and then wave dash. But that time I messed up it like this, the arrow, and then I have to wave dash. And then like speed flip or front flip and that will get you pretty fast to your destination. Like that and yeah, it's pretty fast. I won a couple I won a lot of games doing this recovery, especially like in overtime. Next thing I want to talk about, um so if if you don't know how this if you fall off a surface like the ball or the roof or the wall or like even the ground, like there's like a, a pinch with the wall with the ball like you pinch your the ball with you and then you will kind of like it'll it'll move you upwards and then you'll get an unlimited flip which is how this thing works you can also do one that's like this like is like that and it'll kind of take your car upwards without jumping and then you can just wave dash like that that was also really good recovery but this one is the best one in my opinion you can also do this this one that's really hard but like like off the go post and half flip which I'm about to talk about so the half flip if you didn't which I'm about to talk about right now uh, a half flip is basically a really good way to turn backwards you never want to be like driving backwards that's too dangerous you can barely do anything with it and yes yeah, so um, but basically what you're gonna do is you're gonna backflip like normal, right? Like a n like normal. But after you do the, the backflip, you're gonna move your stick upwards. And yeah, so like that. So you kind of do that and then you just air roll. So yeah. Also, I'll give you some controls to kind of make it a little bit easier. I'll give you my controls and my camera settings as well. Like I'm pretty good. I'm, I'm really consistent with it. You can also do it with boost, like, like so. If you're like this, yeah, like that. And next thing I want to I want to teach you guys is controlling your car in the air. Uh, for this, uh, I would change my air um aerial sensitivity to to um max. So you can like do like a lot of spins and stuff in the air. So if you need it, like right there, like I can do like this, or I can just like leave it as well, and I'll just go upwards. But like if you have to like move somewhere or do something weird, like if you're angling for a pogo, it's kind of kind of awkward. But like I'm not gonna be talking about that for now. So yeah. Uh, 
Uh, next thing I want to teach you guys is about, uh, well, not, I don't think it's that, like, um, it's not that, like, important, but it's, it's, it's to do with, um, flip resets. So, if, like I was talking about earlier, if you go off the wall or, and you, like, fall instead of jumping, you keep your flip, and, yeah, you just, I'm, I'm making a video right now, nothing. On like basics for Rocket League. Like I'm teaching like speed flips. Speed flip. Speed flips, half flips, uh, wave dashes. Recovery, stuff like that. And I'm teaching about flip resets right now, so I'll, like. What? Why? <laughs> Go ahead and and show your dad about it, nothing. I'm gonna I'm gonna show your dad about it. I'm gonna I'm gonna show you I'm gonna show him my your Fortnite videos. On <laughs> hey but um so yeah uh I'll give you uh, in my opinion <laughs> Stop Justin I'm gonna mute you <laughs> if you do that. <laughs> <laughs> all right, um, I'm gonna show y'all how to really do a play rocket league. Cause um, my my friend Chris TJ has to go in trouble. Barely knows how to play. No, no let me just finish the video, and then you can make your own video, okay, nothing. All right, dude. So uh, next thing, um, last thing actually. Uh, I will, I'm gonna teach you guys like some controls and some and some. Fast aerial? Okay, so aerialing, uh, some people just think you just have to go in the air. Like, yeah, you do like that, but, but it's not, that's not all you have to do. Like, sometimes you're gonna get beaten, even when you're doing the, the aerial, so, which, what you have to do is, you have to, la uh, like, one of the things to go faster is fast aerialing, which is basically double jumping, like this. And then you'll get, and then you'll have that jump advantage. Even though some people do go against like bubble. Uh, he says that you should always keep your flip for later, but I mean, you only have one. Bubble says that you should not, um, you shouldn't, it, that he thinks that the, that the, uh, fast area is stupid because, because of how, because you always need your flip for later. But then I told him, but you only keep your flip for one and a half seconds, so. Not that much of a deal. And uh, yeah, yeah, if you don't get a flip reset. I know it's one it's one and a half seconds. How's it? Yeah, it's one and a half seconds. So it kind of defeats the purpose, and, and you go faster even without the flip. And you can also get a, like a flip reset to get the unlimited flip. <coughs> and <coughs> so last thing, I'm gonna show you some camera settings and stuff that <coughs> will probably help you get better at Rocket League. So one thing, uh, take off camera shake because camera shake. This is what it does. If you didn't know, a lot of uh, people have it. It just like. It just makes the camera shake, and it's really annoying when you're like aerialing and stuff, and like hitting the boys. Oh, it also shakes, and it's, it's really terrible. Like it's really hard, especially when like you're dribbling when you're touching the ball. Sensitivity. Some people have. For me, I had it at zero because that was the um, that was the thing, but it was not moving. It was like it didn't move at all. So I would say field of view, put it 110. Distance 270, height 110, angle minus 4.00, stiffness. You get, you get it. You, you can just um, watch these and then yeah, and just like copy them to your own. Uh, controls, steering sensitivity. Put it at. I would. You can change it to your own liking. I would keep it at 10, but you don't have to. Area sensitivity. I already told you. Put it at 10. Uh, what? 
Dodge Denzo Dead Zone. Put it at. If I were you, I'll put it at max. But. Because if you put it at zero, I'm not even going to do it because it's that bad. <laughs> Vibration intensity. Uh, you don't have to have it on. I like, I don't, I was like, I'm used to it. So, yeah, I'll, I'm going to take, I'm going to put zero dodge dead zone. So you can see, you know, how bad this actually is. Is it even the dodge dead zone nothing? Or is it, or is it the other one? The what? Controller dead zone. Yeah, so. Wait, is that Anthony? Oh, yep. Oh, yep. It's the controller dead zone. Look. So it, like, it moves by itself. That, look, I'm not even touching my controller and it's moving. Like, I mean, I get, I, like, I don't even understand why I had this <laughs> in the first place. Like, you, like, let me try area. Look. And then look. What is this? What is this? It cannot control this thing! Okay, hold up. Hold up. Nothing. Yeah, put it- If I were you, I have it- Personally, I have it at 0 0.4, but- I mean, like, 40. But- But- Put it at max. Just that I'm weird, so. Uh, controls, if I were you, I would change this. Uh, drive forward, say the same. Backwards, yeah. Jump, uh, boost, put it R1, because- yeah, if you're a new, if you're a new player, change the controls. Yeah. So yeah, and boost the power slide. You can just copy them down right now. So we'll go through them quickly. Yeah, and that's basically it for this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll be our and yeah. <laughs>